Since their wonderfully fun Moroccan-style wedding, Darren and Sarah Kate have lived the meaning of in sickness and in health, for better or for worse. With his career on the up in his online visual radio show and with the family back together in Heart of Beersport, the Scots have overcome some dark days. I think South Africa joins me in being relieved at the fact that Mark is 18 months clear and Matthew is all clear. And I just finished the journey with Mark and, and his chemo in November and found out that we were pregnant in January. Um, I think for me, during that first month, you couldn't help but have that sense of fear going, what happens if there is anything related? And Matthew just sailed through every single one of his tests that we had to screen for with flying colors. And as you can see, he's very malnourished. <laughs> He's such a healthy little boy, and we're just so grateful for that. When Mark was being treated and going to hospital, do you think he knew what was happening? No, he, he, he had no idea what was happening. I mean, obviously in the beginning it was traumatic for him, but um, what Sarah did when she used to go there is let him play with a stethoscope, then we got him doctor's toys. So it, it went from being, you know, these things are overawing him, if that's a word, to, you know, he sees the stuff and he's like, oh, there's toys. So he started to get used to it now. And even now when he goes for checkups, you know, he sees the stuff, he plays with it, he gives the doctor an inspection. We were inspired by his strength and his bravery. Just makes you want to be the best possible parent to your child when you see them just getting, getting knocked in the ring over and over and over again and just coming out smiling every single day. So... Now look at him. He's got more hair than Jennifer Aniston could possibly wish for. <laughs> has everything that you two have been through brought you close together as a couple? Absolutely. We were on the verge of, of a divorce. And again, we we're very public about what we were going through. And I really believe God has used our family as an example of, of really going from, from, from tragedy to triumph. And it's truly just about sticking with each other and... I think Darren and I have never been materialistic, but I think when your kid's sick, and I mean really sick, you just realize what's important in life. And, and from a moment of, of just thinking that, oh, it's just too hard, and you know, let's just both throw in the towel, it was quite the opposite. We just, more than ever, just leaned on each other for strength. And there's absolutely no ways I would ever have been able to have got through the journey with Mark with, without Darren, absolutely not. Cupcakes have been the silver lining of this cloud. Sales of these masterpieces contributed to Mark's treatment and that of other children. Last year, over a million rand was raised. So that's what this is all about. Yes, and you're going to help me with my first cupcake party. Oh, lovely. They look amazing, though. So, so what's the story behind the cupcakes? I am the patron of an incredible charity called Cupcakes for Kids with Cancer and it's just the sweetest way to make a, a small donation through something really adorable and cute and making a huge difference in a child's life. You've got to put this one on because this Wait, is you. Serious, that is so cool. I think it looks just like me. Top hat has got a magic wand and everything. <laughs> you obviously heard about the charity when Mark was sick. Yes, Cupcakes for Kids with Cancer came and donated cupcakes at Mark's golf day, his fundraiser. And now that Mark's healed, I really do have time on my hands to now give back and go to the hospitals and help other children who are in the same position that my child was and, and make a difference. And either hand out hospital bags, hand out cupcakes to make them feel better. And the most important thing our charity does is help with the cost of treatment, which is exorbitant. Named after Darren's older brother, who he lost in a car accident, young Mark's feisty recovery is twice as meaningful. Having a son in his life made all the difference in Darren quitting alcohol and coming out on top after a career crisis. So I guess little Mark takes off to dad when it comes to golf. Yeah, he loves it. I mean, he, can, he amuses himself sometimes like this. I go into the garage and my golf balls are lying all over the place. Yeah. He's taking his clubs in there and he's hauled out balls from my bag and he's hitting them around on his own. In that way, I think his daddy's boy. Yeah. I think you know, he's found a dog now that's amusing himself. <laughs> something else. He's easily distracted. But he's never had a problem with trying to you know, keep himself busy with stuff. But there's never been jealousy issues at all. And, and the other thing that I've done is that Monday is Mommy Marky Day. So we do whatever he wants to do on a Monday. 
but I'm definitely going to leave golf to, to the daddy department. But you look like you've got all the right gear. Yeah, I've got the gear. I mean, I looked the part, but that's as far as you go. As far as it goes. <laughs> got the gear. She even got clubs. Do you think they've been used? No. Please don't tell me you have pink golf clubs. They are pink. Yeah. <laughs> how did I How did I know? I've been looking forward to going to a golf course with my son, less than with my wife. <laughs> So I guess things are looking up for the Scott family, right? Yes, um, Mark is healed and, and he's such a joy in our life and we're so excited to have little Matthew as part of our family, making us a perfect little family of four now and we're just incredibly blessed and we're at a, an exceptionally blessed place in our lives and we, we're grateful for everything that we that we have, especially each other. Yes. Cheers guys, you guys have been absolutely <laughs> Thanks, amazing. Simba. Thank Super. you so much. Whoa. What was that? <laughs> so Louis was says half Awesome. Well, Enjoy. Thanks, <laughs> we do like a happy ending.